Hello everybody and welcome to the Money Man. Now I'm going to show you two fantastic commemorative banknotes that have just been released in Macau. I'm talking of course about the 20 Macanese Pataka commemorative banknotes which have just been released a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to show you the National Overseas Bank um, version of the note first and then I'm going to show you the Bank of China version just after. And as I go along, I'll tell you a little bit more about the peculiarities of the Macanese Pataka and a little bit of Macau's recent history, because it's very similar to Hong Kong's in that respect. So here's the first one. This is the National Overseas Bank. And when I first saw the preview of these banknotes, I thought, wow, yes, these are going to be amazing. And I think they are. Actually seeing them in, you know, in the flesh, so to speak, they do not disappoint. These are fantastic banknotes. So let's go through some of the things that we can see. Well, first of all, you've got the serial number going down the left side and along the bottom. And you've got the prefix MA for Macau. And you can see we've got the reflective denomination up in the top left corner. Now, it's quite important that they used the 20 Pataka note because it is a regular denomination in circulation. However, this year is 2019, so that means it's been 20 years since Macau was handed over from Portuguese administration to the People's Republic of China. If you remember, Hong Kong was handed over from the British to the Chinese in 1997. Macau was two years later in 1999. So the 20 denomination is very fitting because it's celebrating that 20th anniversary of the handover. And what you can see in the middle here is you've actually got the lotus flower, which is the symbol of Macau, which was adopted after the handover when Macau passed from Portuguese administration to the People's Republic of China. Similarly, in Hong Kong, we have the bohinia flower, which is the symbol of Hong Kong, and that was implemented after the handover of Hong Kong from British administration to the People's Republic of China. So Macau and Hong Kong share those sort of, uh, you know, the iconography. And this is actually a sculpture that you can actually find in Macau. So it's quite fitting that it adorns the front of the note. Now you can see that we've got basically the important information uh, written in Chinese. And you can see down here we've also got Portuguese representing the denomination as well. So all Macau banknotes are still issued in traditional Chinese and in Portuguese, which is really interesting. Now, if you look and spin it around, well, you can just see, before I spin it around, you can actually see that this is just the Macau skyline um, just at the back here. Now, if we flip it over, you can see. So we've got National Overseas Bank right there. And you can see that it says 20 Patakas, and we've got the date and, you know, all the other, uh, the, 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 the uh, administrator of the bank and all that kind of stuff. So, now, what is this here? Well, this is the Macau Hong Kong Zhuhai Bridge. And this was a massive project that was just recently completed this year. And it's an, a, a ginormous bridge that connects um, mainland China, Zhuhai, uh, to Macau and Hong Kong. So it's basically like the umbilical cord that is connecting the special administrative regions of Macau and Hong Kong to the Chinese mainland. So it's a very, very iconic, important part of the new unified China. And there are some, basically, these are um, facades of important buildings in Macau just along the top here. Uh, this is basically the facade of a historic church face that still exists in the center of Macau today. Uh, so there's a lot of small imagery in this banknote. You've got basically the contrast of the old and the new. And I said this before in other videos, I really love that in banknotes where you've got the contrast of the modern and the old. Very, very nice. The color scheme is fantastic. The simplicity is fantastic as well. You've got these bold images, but they're subtly overlaid with images of the past. I really love that. So I think this is a very simple banknote in many ways, but it works brilliantly. The harmony of the colours is very, very nice indeed. So for me, this is an absolute winner and highly, highly collectible, as any Macanese Patakas are. So that's the first one. That's the National Overseas Bank. Now, you'll see the second one is almost the same, and I'll explain why in a minute. But here it is. So this is the Bank of China one. 
you can see we've got the Bank of China building right here. It's pretty much the same thing, okay, in all respects. The design is pretty much the same, apart from the uh, the central bank buildings uh, representing the different commercial banks. That's all that's really different. Spin it around and look at the back. You can see we've got pretty much the same thing, apart from instead of National Overseas Bank, we've got the Bank of China with the Bank of China logo right there. And interestingly, the Director General... Uh, is written his name in Chinese, um, so that's quite interesting. So a different signature there. But it gives these banknotes a real flavour of Macau, because Macau is an unusual place. You get this fusion of traditional Chinese and Portuguese, you know, and it is really, really unusual. You get bits of architecture that, you know, you would see in Portugal. It It's very much like, you know, the, the, the sort of Portuguese-Chinese equivalent of Hong Kong. So it's a fascinating place. I'd definitely check it out if you ever get a chance to uh, to go there. Um, now, so you can see that they're pretty much the same. Now, all the banknotes in Macau are actually issued by these two commercial banks, the National Overseas Bank and the Bank of China. So it's very similar to Hong Kong in that respect, that commercial banks actually issue the banknotes rather than the territory's monetary authority. The Monetary Authority in Macau deals with coinage, um, just like Hong Kong's equivalent. So yeah, interesting thing to note there. Now, these banknotes, why are they so difficult to get hold of? The Macanese Pataka, many, many people ask me for these banknotes and they are not easy to get hold of. I'm going to elaborate on this more in another video on Macanese Patakas, so do keep your eyes open for that. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the difficulties that people encounter with collecting Macanese banknotes, especially contemporary banknotes in uncirculated condition. But what I will say about these is that in Macau, they actually accept three currencies as legal tender. They obviously take the Macanese Pataka, but the dominant one is the Hong Kong dollar. That's used in all the casinos. It's used by a lot of the tourists. Um, so most of the cash flow is done in Hong Kong dollars. And they also accept the Chinese yuan, the renminbi, because you get a lot of Chinese tourists coming over from the mainland and they use the casinos and they use the yuan. So actually, Macau is kind of like a third tier currency in 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 that in that area, the Macanese Pataka is like a third tier currency. You have the, the dominate, domination of the Yuan and the Hong Kong dollar. So it's an unusual situation. And also Macau has a very, very small population. Um, so the number of notes in circulation regarding the Macanese Pataka is not as high as you would think, okay? But I will elaborate a bit more on that in another video because I've got some more Macanese banknotes to share with you. So let me know what you think about these. I think these banknotes are absolutely fantastic. So far, I haven't seen any folders that accompany them. Um, but if there are any, I will get hold of the accompanying banknotes. And I might feature those in another video upcoming in the near future. But as far as I know, these do not have any folders. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I think these notes are an absolute winner. And as you can see, I've got quite a few in the background there i will be getting more soon so yeah quick fire video for you guys for, for you guys because this is a hot item that has just come out on the market now do have a look on ebay try to get hold of it you're looking at prices of around about uh 12 to 14 british pounds for the pair or about 140 hong kong dollars um but as they become more readily available as they enter into the collecting universe you might see prices drop a little bit so, that's The Money Man, signing out for now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.